All right, so to find the value of x and y when given uh, these two equations, you have to solve them simultaneously. So um, you pick n of the equations. So let me just write them. Let me copy them and see what we need to do. So I've got uh, x minus 1 is equal to 2. So this is our equation 1, okay? Equation 2, that is uh, x, y is equal to 4. So this is our equation uh, 2. So we, we have to solve these two equations uh, simultaneously. We can either pick the first one or the second one, whichever we want to work with. So let me pick the second one, which is uh, x, y is equal to 4. So I'm going to make x subject of the formula. Uh, to make x subject of the formula, I must divide by y throughout so that I remain with the x only. So when I divide by this, y and y will cancel. I shall remain with the x is equal to 4 over y. So this is uh, my new equation. So now after solving like this, I'm going to substitute 4 over y right here where x is. So I'm going to say 4 over y minus okay, y is equal to a 2. So if you can see nicely, this is equation 2. So equation 2, I made x subject of the formula, which is equal to 4 over y. And then I got this 4 over y, substituted it in me, equation 1, right here. So this is what we have. When I put it here, we shall remain with C, minus y, uh, 4 over y minus y is equal to 2. So remember, we must solve for x, I mean for y. So to solve for y, we first multiply throughout by y so that we get rid of this fraction. We cancel the y which is down here. So when we multiply 4 over y times y, this y and the y here will cancel. We shall remain with a 4. Here when we say negative y times y, we shall have a negative y squared, which is equal to here 2 times y, it will be 2y. So this is what we have. If you can see, this is a quadratic equation. Okay, So we can put it in standard form. Putting this quadratic in, in standard form, we shall remain with the y power 2 plus 2y minus 4 is equal to a 0. So this is the standard form of the quadratic equation. My next job here will just be to solve for y. So to solve for y here, I can use the quadratic formula. Okay. So this is the formula that I'm going to use, the quadratic formula. Formula. In case you didn't know the quadratic formula, this is how it will look like. All right, so what is my, my B? My B is a 2 right here, okay? So we know that uh, this is our A, B, and C. So it's a matter of just substituting. So this is what I'm getting. Right here, it's a... 2 power 2 minus 4, A is a 1, C is a negative 4, okay, over 2 and a 1, A is a 1. When we solve nicely, we shall get something like this. This is what we're getting over a 2, of which in this case we shall say our Y will be equal to... Uh, negative 1 plus root of 5, okay? Or in other ways, we can say our y, or we say o, y will be equal to negative 1 minus root of negative 5. So these are the two y values. So after getting these two y values, we go back to equation A, one right here so we can substitute or we can get this to solve for 
x. We know that y, we have found two solutions for y, negative 1 plus root over 5, or y is equal to negative 1 minus root over 5. So these are the two y values. So to solve for x values, we just come here. We say x will be equal to a 4 over this y value we substitute it right here so it will be negative 1 plus root over 5 so this is uh, the x value the other x value we say o again 4 over so we substitute this right here we shall have negative 1 minus root over of 5 this is the other solution so we have answered this question now these are the four solutions of uh, the questions that we've been looking for or that we've been solving which is uh, right here so this is a question that we've been finding the or that that we've been solving to find um, or working on to find the value of x and uh, y thank you so much for watching this has been sichamba jacob and bye bye